Welcome to the second video on CSS. Today we're going to look at changing the font color, the font type, and the font size. And so let's go ahead and use the source we did from the last video and let's open that up now. Now you will remember that we created our first rule and that we decided to go ahead and style the H1 HTML element right here and we gave it a background color of purple. And so let's just go ahead and take a look at that again. And there you can see we have our purple background. Now what I want to do is create a new rule. So let's go ahead and do that. And so we just do the same thing we did with the H1 rule. We'll just copy and paste that. And we're going to go ahead and style the P HTML element. So that's right here, this one, everything within here and everything within here. Now what I want to point out is we said H1 here and that equated to the H1 header. When you put in P here and just P, we are going to alter everything, all of the paragraphs that we have in our HTML document. So it will affect everything, both of these P elements. And that's actually very useful. Now in the old days, before CSS was even around, you would have had to come down to each one of these P elements and put the same code in for each one of these to change the font type or color if you want to. You had to put the same code. Now we can do it globally from up here. All we have to do is put the P selector and then we can go ahead and change everything we want in all the P elements in the HTML document. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of this property here because we're not going to use that. Remember, these are properties and this is the rule and this is the selector. So we're going to select again the paragraph element tag and let's first change the color of the font. Now let's go ahead and save this first and you can see here that this was the this is the first paragraph we had and you can see it's in black and this is the second paragraph element that we had. So let's go ahead back in there and so let's go ahead and change the color of that font to red and we will give it a value of red of course. Now you'll notice that this background hyphen color that makes a little bit more sense but for whatever reason you would have thought this might have been text hyphen color. No it's just called color that will change the fonts color and I find that a little bit confusing but that's the way they did it. So you know you can see some of these actually make more sense. This property actually makes more sense. This one just says color. Well color for what? Well it is actually the font color but they chose not to put in font hyphen color or text hyphen color. It's just color. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll go back in here and you can see now that we've got our red text. And so let's go back in here and we'll change the font size and the actual um, property for that is just font hyphen size and again we use a semicolon and we'll make this 25px so we can really see this. Use a semicolon, we'll save this again and we'll open it up and there you can see we have increased the size of this. Remember this is a lot smaller and again we affect both of the P elements. Okay so let's close that and let's go back in here and now we will actually change the font type and we come in here and type font family and let's change this to Helvetica. So we put in our semicolon, let's save this and we'll reopen this back up and there you can see we've got our nice Helvetica font. And so that is how you change the font type, the size of the font, and the color. And actually let's switch back to the source for a minute. I forgot there was one more thing I forgot to say here. This PX, when we changed the uh, font size here, this PX stands for pixels. And so that is the unit of measurement that you use. And basically that's the size of the text from the bottom all the way to the top. So pixels is the measurement and that's what you want to put in here. So, okay, I will see you guys in the next video.